Locating suspect. You are instructed to reveal yourself. Locating suspect. You are instructed to reveal yourself. Locating suspect. You are instructed to reveal yourself. Locating suspect. That's clear. I'm coming for you. You shoot him, and a millisec later, you'll eat lead too. I let him go, I'll still Pan eat Ann. lead. Shoot Shut him. Up. Listen, this isn't about you. Let him go, and tell me where I, your passenger is. I, I don't know where they took him. Hell no. He's lying. You don't know, or you don't want to say. Let me get the comms back up. I'll buzz the unit. We'll talk. Pan Am. But only if you remember the Shut cowboy, the fuck don't up. you? Fuck! Pan Am! God damn it! Oh shit. Are you all right? Uh, just some scratches. You fucking morons! Did you get hit? Hang on, girl. I'll pass it's you up. nothing. Let's go. We couldn't retreat, Pan Am. They regrouped so fast. Started shooting rockets and shit. I lost everyone. Everyone? Scorpion, is he here? Mitch? Mitch? He's... He's safe, Pan right? Pan Am, I'm sorry. I didn't make it in time. No. No! Are you sure? No, he... Scorpion, the rest. I'm sorry we didn't get here sooner. They were good people. Great people. They didn't have to die here. I should have stopped him. I tried. He wouldn't have listened to you either. Never was much of a listener. Stubborn. Bastard. I'm guessing since you were out here, you were out here for the AV. The question is why? Everything okay? You need anything? Thanks for saving my ass, V. Sorry about your people, but I need to keep moving. I need the guy who's riding this AV. You know anything, see anything. Took him with him. In our cars. Where? West, small unit, your passenger's entourage. Must be looking for a way to call base. So you're the ones who hit him with that EMP? Yeah, we tried to warn you, but couldn't connect. If they took your cars, we might be able to follow their tracks. I'll go after him. Stay with Mitch, I'll be fine. I am going with you. I promised I would help. Besides, those bastards killed Scorpion. I won't let that go. Don't argue with her, V. No point. Go. I'll call my people. We'll take care of things here. We'll leave my ride here just in case. Just watch the gun. It likes to jam. We'll go by bike. Sounds solid. Kang Tao lost contact with their AV. Probably looking for it. Better hurry. But Pen Am... What? You're coming back for her, right? I promise. Let's get going. Before they send a rescue party. Scorpion and the rest. 
Look, I know how you feel. I mean it. I'll help you settle your score with Kang Tao. I will destroy them, V. Every last one. We're in this together. To the bitter end. You know what, V? You're all right. You helped me with Nash. You helped me with Mitch. To my mind, I owe you a favor. Your Hellman. I will find him. Ah, so that's what this is? Just paying your debts? No. Nomads always help Oh, own. so I'm one of yours now. Sounds good. Let's ride. Hope they didn't go far. We'll see. The tire tracks start there. We'll follow them. Our guys were here. See them? Let's follow. Find them. Scorpion said I would hate Night City. Okay, covering you. Hey, easy. We gotta talk. Who are you working for? You're in Nobu Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back home? What a shitty rat. He's about to either scream or run. Shut him up already. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. 
not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Fucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or our Sokka. Don't take this personally. I seem to recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got helmet. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Just remember, you have Hellman, and that's one hell of a car. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just biz. He's no friend of yours. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive? What did he say? Alive, alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya. God damn it! Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True. Looks like your new Chimbas are here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. Stay right there. The cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few elder colonies. <clears throat> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. What do you plan to do with him? Just gotta ask him a few important questions. I sure hope you get some important answers. Saul. Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope it was worth it. Saul, I tried to raise Scorpion. Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul, it really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing. My fault that A.V. got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're in Aldo Caldo, you are always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still in Aldo Caldo. Damn it all! Hey, don't worry about Saul. He'll get over it. I don't give a damn. But he gives a damn about you, Pan Am. As soon as he heard what had happened, he ordered us to follow you. He was worried something would happen Saul? to you. Saul? That was his? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but your family and Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. <laughs> I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you. You look out for yourself, all right? So, Mitch. They really treat you like family. Maybe you should give them a chance. It is not that simple. Like any family. They're coming. You have about a minute to get out of there. Let's move! I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours. Hey. Where am I? What is this place? I want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arisaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arisaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. 
If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. You misunderstand me. There is no offer. What do you want? Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy, and I know it's only gonna get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that... None of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the fine print. Construct? That's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware. Aggressive? The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved And it was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. Huh. Imagine my luck. To be so fucking unique. So fucking exceptional. That mean you'll help me? Well, well. I would have to see it first. Okay. Looks like... Can't believe this Seuss the one who's gonna help us. Oh, fuck. Impressive, isn't it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo do... Woohoo, it's bargaining time. ...is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me. What's it like? to have two personalities. Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You are both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. Didn't come here for the philosophy lecture. It's not philosophy. It's neurobiology. And your evidence just confirmed my hypothesis. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Sheesh, give it a rest. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomber. Well, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it. At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking now? Oh, let me guess. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. No. Would you, though? Could be fun. Johnny. Kidding. But watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head off. Know what? That's enough. You just playing for time? Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? Because, I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Ah, oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. Forget Kang Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to. Gonk's fucking useless without him. He... Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice, he might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints.
better than nothing. As long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Ah, this heat. My throat is practically <coughs> You see that? Give Give me fuck me. Like Just me. look at that. Unacceptable. Sons of bitches. Whatever you gotta say, say it. Got something eating at your code, that's clear. Been trying to learn how you're wired this whole time. To know who I'm dealing with. Thought you were just unlucky at first. But I kept watching, and finally realized what your problem is. You're a dirt boy from Haywood who found the guts to walk a few extra blocks from home. But turned... Let's cut this juvenile bullshit. I'm just trying to help you. Well, I neither want, nor do I need, your help. Just go. Had enough of you. V, it's good you're here. What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Saul. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure it was Wraiths? We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Saul. I don't know why, but... I felt I could count on you. Always Pan Am. You and me are chums. Thought that was clear. Careful, or I'll start believing that. You won't be able to get rid of me. I'll survive, I'm sure. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grod. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. Never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Okay, how you want to do this? Quietly. An open assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up the recon. You'll sneak into the Wraith's camp while I cover you. Going in quiet. Two's all you need. It's not that I don't want to go to serve some raffins up some justice. It's just... Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek. Static. And I don't know if Your leader gets nabbed, and you, what, hope for the best? Rather than I think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! He has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. 
The main building. There. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. I feel like looking for a diamond in the hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local camnet. You would just need to find the control room. Skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay, got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. Okay, you take the wheel. One me driving. Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. See that? That is one hell of a storm! Looking... bad. Oh, it's bad in more than its look. We have to move quickly. Okay, let's go over the plan again. You slip... We need to hide the car. Park beside that outcrop. Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. You just watch yourself down there. I see several heavy hitters. Just wait. Nothing to see just yet. Wait till they give him a taste of the torch. Try to melt ah. them down.
Cassie. Breathing? I think so. Good. Grab him and get out of there. It's all. Do, do, do you have my goddamn cigar? Easy, Saul. Be with Pan Am. Pan Am? But she left. Not forever. Gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. Pretty badly beat. Probably could use this. Oh, yeah. So? How is he? Time to don my dancing shoes. He'll live. Now get yourselves out of there. Middle of a shitstorm down here. Brewing to be a Category 5. I know. Get out of the building. I'll be right there. That's a mistake. You'll regret. This is how we ride! You're making a mistake. Another one. You're serious right now? Those devils wanted to know our location. If we drive to camp now, we'll just be setting the table for them. You look outside lately. The storm will wipe our tracks. And the scent of blood? What? We got more chopping at our tail. Fuck! That's one way to treat an engine. Fuck off, Saul. I can't squeeze any more out of it. Cut off that tail. Get ready. All the call dogs. Should be safe, at least for now. Inside, quick! Ugh. Ugh. 
I need to catch my breath. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Vade, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. Don't be mad, but I think Saul could be right. What? Why? You know how things work in Night City? You've got everybody fighting for a slice of the street. If you keep getting jumped, you find some stronger chumbas. You're talking about gangs. Principles are the same out here. You ought to remember that. Hear that, Pan Am? That is the voice of reason. All I hear is the fucking wind. We've had our spats. A few. Like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. Damn, I love that word. Well, what was that about? Probably the meds talking. I sure hope so. I think he took a few solid hits to his skull. <laughs> Funny. What is? I rarely sleep with a roof overhead, yet this will be the second time with you. When you're on the road day and night and today, your butt basically fusing with your seat. And? I forget what it's like. Think this is any better? No, just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am. Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them, I fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? And what did you have in mind? Got a few ideas. Think you know what kind? Uh... <clears throat> the... No. It's really nice as is. Let's not spoil it, okay? I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Didn't know what I was thinking. Oh, it's fine. Truly. Don't let it worry you. Right. So, friends, then. B, I'm glad you came. Really. Thanks. It meant a lot to me. <sighs> Do you hear that? No. Hmm. <sighs> The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plate, I sure can't get any, should I? Not a wink. Look who's alive. Hey, did you sleep all right? Good work, V. Old style raid. Hey, you gotta agree now. Next time, I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. Just not want to kick back and relax, are you? It's not my style. 
No. I'm back with the clan, sure. But I have things to do. Come on. Last night, when we were talking to Saul, both of you spewed some drivel. But I do have to grant him one thing. The wraiths, the raid. It's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Aldecaldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Oh, uh, hold up. About last night. We don't need to talk about that. I'm just not like that. So what are you like? More like this. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Circumstances were different. I'd say saddle up and ride after her. But here and now, just look. Damn hard to catch a girl like that. Only hope you've got is they feel a pang and stop to wait. What's with you? Dunno, a memory, maybe. Don't matter. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback. Shit! herself to express her undying... Stop talking. I was... I was only gone an hour. Checked her pulse? Got to do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything.
Yeah, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. Fuck you! If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. They'll be here soon. <laughs> told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? You know... To you, she was your best friend, so it's a terrible tragedy. But... They must get dozens of calls like this every day. What are you? Their fucking PR rep? No, just saying. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. Bummer, Sig. Didn't know you smoked. <sighs> Quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Sorry, no can do. Cheapskate. You could get hooked again. I don't want that on me. V, just give me a fucking smoke. Here. That was her smoke case. Wanna hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kinda glad it's you that has it, actually. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. Stay strong, Judy. Don't let this tear you down. You know what? Let's just not say anything for a minute, okay? Her condition couldn't think about anything else. Tech-wise, she was clean. Doll Shard was operational, uncorrupted. So... Psychological trauma. Had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues. Found Woodman. He kept her. And had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. Saw him as your average tricksy sleazebag. He puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Sue's. Thanks, V. Sorry, but uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything. 
No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. You're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that military convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. You really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we can- Wow. Came... Seems a lot changed while I was away. No. Nothing has changed at all. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess, whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay. So you do want to go behind Saul's back, and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob, also on board. And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn short, sweet, and pertinent. None of that sad sack- Okay. I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the Biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. The Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? Not times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. 
of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing that means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, uh... Never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie. I remember that. We have arrived. Big bastard. We like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Need a hand? Of course. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. Ah, that was quick. There's it is, then. Do you need a light? Well done. Thanks, boys. I've always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off in a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Sure thing. Nada. Nothing here. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V? The card. In the reader?
Here goes nothing. It worked! Come look! Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. Missed you. Pretty bad. Oh, well, this means... Oh, wait, just, just wait. This is not how we usually talk. Not what you wanted to talk about? I mean, perhaps I did. But not so openly. My plan was to tiptoe around, test the waters, then retreat back into my shell. Okay, but let's skip the tiptoeing. Where are we now? I would not want to cock this up. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Don't feel any impulse at all right now? Shame. I was hoping you did. I do. But I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right. Let's rejoin the others. We could still Sit your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. You worried about Saul? We've quite some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another one over. Stars have emerged. We've but a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. And a jacket. The Scorpion. Gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Growing kinda cold out here. Not true. But this is nice. Catch some shut eye with me.
I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh dear, that means there's a major leak. Good night, V. Oh shit, not good. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? ready? Let's ride, V. Plan, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You'd better move. Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. What you see. 
The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care.